suppose it's about time I tell you what you're going to learn and when you'll learn it in this course. So in this video we'll go through the course structure. First of all we have this section of course, the introduction, where you'll understand what Facebook ads are, where they're shown, who they're shown to, why they're important, a lot of interesting stats about Facebook and Facebook ads. You'll learn a bit about myself as well. Then we go on to Facebook ads in detail, why they're effective, how they work for advertisers, why they're great for e-commerce and pretty much any other online business, and some really important info before you proceed further into the course. Then we go on to some prep slash admin sort of work where before we can actually run ads and get access to the ads manager, we have to set up a Facebook page if you haven't set one up already and an ads manager account if you haven't set one up already. I'll also quickly go through the payments and limits and a couple of other things in the ads manager account for you so you can navigate your way around that effectively and confidently after this video. You'll also receive some vital info on what not to do with Facebook ads. Now this video is incredibly important because far too many people nowadays are jumping onto Facebook ads because they're realizing the popularity and importance and effectiveness of Facebook ads but without realizing what they can and can't do on the platform. They're advertising things such as gambling sites, online dating, casual dating, using profanities and things like that. Using things like that is going to get you banned from Facebook ads. Then we go on to the structure of a Facebook ad with in-depth coverage and explanation of the three different tiers that make up a Facebook ad and we'll have an end of section quiz there to complete before you can move on just to ensure that you understand the three tiers because they're very simple but at the same time it's important you know about each each of the three tiers because that is what we go into in detail further into the course. So we talk about the campaign level after that and all of the different objectives you can use on the campaign level and what they used for specifically. Then we talk about PPE versus WC. That's page post engagement versus website conversion. It's just a quick overview of the debate to ensure you aren't confused if you read information about this debate elsewhere on the internet. Then we continue with the ad set level. In-depth coverage of the very important aspect of the ad set level, how they work, what they're for, etc. A couple of tips on saved audiences and how to save money by avoiding a couple of pitfalls that a lot of the new newbies and the new guys to Facebook ads tend to fall into and burn cash with. And then we have a great section called Watch Me Live. And what it is, is basically an over-the-shoulder view of me creating all sorts of different campaigns using slideshows, images, carousels, videos, different marketing objectives like page post engagement, page likes, website conversions, all sorts. And then we have some tips for better advertising. This is a really, really short section, just looking back at what you've learned so far because you'll have covered a lot and learned a lot and it's quite a steep learning curve. So we're just consolidating that knowledge before we move into more advanced topics. Then advanced topic number one, the Facebook pixel. This is so important and not enough advertisers are using this. We talk about what it is, how to create one, how to install it on Shopify. If you don't have Shopify, don't worry. It's very simple to install on other websites such as WordPress and WooCommerce. Then I'll show you how to check it's working correctly and how to use it. Then custom audiences, followed by custom audiences, lookalike audiences, another typo, brilliant. So I show you an introduction to lookalike audiences, all about the different sources. I show you using different sources over the shoulder again, live, and how to build multiple lookalike audiences in just a few clicks. I also discuss the abbreviations and percentages in lookalike audiences, which can confuse a lot of people. I then show you how to use these new audiences that I've shown you how to create previously. So these are really advanced topics, advanced audiences that not enough people are using. I then show you even further advanced techniques with lookalike audiences and custom audiences such as constraining and detail targeting to really laser focus those audiences. Again, this detail targeting involves using interests and the demographic targeting involves using location constraining which 
going back to the previous video, 85% of people don't use location constraining. Sorry, 85% of ads don't use location constraining. And I think it was 45% don't use interests, which is madness. So I show you how to do both of those, even with lookalike audiences, which is huge. Then we discuss measuring and reporting, one of my favorite sections. Knowing your numbers, customizing columns, and I show you the best column setup, reporting setup for e-commerce. I explain how to analyze profitability from your Facebook ads. I introduce breakdowns on how to use them effectively. Then split testing, an introduction to split testing ads, how to split test properly, how not to split test, basically what to avoid, and how not to waste money. A huge list of different split testing ideas for you guys to try yourselves at home. And some live examples, split testing targeting and split testing creative. Then of course we move on to scaling the profitable ad sets. The three methods I use personally and what I think of them. That's budget increasing, duplication and horizontal scaling. So in summary we then have a course summary. It goes through and consolidates your new knowledge and Facebook ad skills. And I also include some suggestions on what to do next and where to go from here. But after that, I have a brand new section that I'm so excited to announce and launch with you here today. And that is the case studies section. The case studies, they're gonna be multiple different case studies that I'm gonna do and add as time goes by. These are real life case studies of ads that I run myself for a number of my different businesses I have online, I show you with as much transparency as possible all about these campaigns. I show you the ad sets, the results, my thoughts, and basically externalizing my thought processes while I'm analyzing these ad sets, explaining what I'm gonna do next, why I plan on doing it, so you get an understanding of the reasons behind my actions. I'm gonna show you the profits and the losses and everything. And as I said, I'm going to be adding new case studies to this course frequently. And that's something I'm really excited about. And then, of course, there's a small section on bonus material, which, again, will have updates quite frequently with lists of resources for you to use for better advertising and some great course coupon codes for my best selling courses, my Shopify dropshipping course and my Google Analytics for Shopify course. If you have a Shopify site or if you want to build one, perhaps you fancy running Facebook ads to a brand new business, you can set up a Shopify dropshipping business following the guide I have provided in my best-selling Udemy course. And if you enjoy the data section, the measurements and reporting section, the Google Analytics course may also be for you. And obviously, I'll add some more useful things as time goes on.